Monday, July 29th, 2019, Maneco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. This morning, I want to talk about precious metals, gold seasonality in particular. Yes, we've seen gold break out since the middle of June, but uh, according to some studies done on gold seasonal averages, uh, the end of July is always a great uh, time, is always a bottom for, for gold in the last 5, 10, uh, 20, and 45 years. Before I look at that though, uh, let's quickly look at uh, where the markets are. So right now it's 7.22 a.m. London time, so it's a little early this morning. Billy has come down for the, for the video. He'll probably go back up later on. Uh, go back to sleep. So right now we've got spot gold uh, unchanged at 1418.28. Uh, the range has been 1417 uh, to 1424.50. Silver is down slightly, down uh, just about two cents at uh, 1636. Range has been 1648 to 1632. So the key levels uh, above for silver 1466. Uh, gold, uh, right now, there's good resistance around 1430. The Dow, uh, Dow Future, down 41, uh, 27,150. S&P 500 Future, down 5 at 3020. NASDAQ uh, 100 Future, down 20 or a quarter of a percent at 79.94. The uh, fiat currencies... Uh, sterling uh, down 0.12 of a percent at 123.67. Euro 111.23. Dollar yen uh, unchanged 108.64. Euro, by the way, is also unchanged. Uh, dollars up 0.12 of a percent against the yuan at 689.25. WTI crude down a third at 56.05. Brent down half a percent at 63.04. Bond market, 10 year yields down one basis point at 207, three month 212. So five basis points inversion. Before I go into the uh, gold seasonality, I'll uh, just uh, quickly give you an update of what's happening this week. Uh, the major event, of course, is the FOMC meeting that starts tomorrow and uh, on Wednesday, July 31st, where the Federal Reserve is expected to uh, announce a cut of 25 basis points. I have an article here in the FT. It says Powell prepares to launch pivotal uh, interest rate cut. Monetary policy pivot towards easing driven by sh four shifts in U.S. Fed's thinking. So uh, their monetary policy is now uh, driven by their thinking, not by what the, the markets are saying or the economy. Anyway, so it says here, swap contracts imply that investors have priced in a more than 80% chance of a 25 basis uh, point cut at the Fed's monetary policy meeting on Wednesday, with nearly 20% likelihood of a larger cut. That means... 50 basis point. Um, so, yeah, the Fed will be key uh, this week. It will move the markets. Uh, the other thing, aside from cutting rates, uh, the movement on interest rates, we need to listen to the press conference and their uh, economic projections as well. That's very important. Uh, plus, towards the end of the week, we're going to get uh, non-farm payroll, the jobs data which is another in, uh, important uh, economic statistic. Yes, <laughs> it's all um, hypothetical. Um, they, they tell us that uh, unemployment is the lowest in 50, year, 50 years plus. They tell us here in the FT as well that this is the longest economic expansion since the 1850s. But in my book, uh, the private economy continues to suffer. And why do I say that? Well, because the U.S. Uh, government has been running uh, budget deficits uh, since 07, 08. Uh, in the last couple of years, it's, it's even accelerated. 
we're at uh, 5% of, percent of GDP budget deficit. That means the government is spending an extra 5% of GDP of money that it doesn't have, that it has to borrow. So it's crowding out the private sector, in my opinion. And if you uh, were running a, a balanced budget, I would say the economy would still be in the recession that we never uh, left the recession, the Great Recession of 08. Gold seasonal averages. So uh, there's a chart here from Gold Charts Are Us. Uh, and it talks about the seasonality of, of gold. Um, it's the cumulative average daily percentage change. And you can see here that uh, from the chart, uh, July is usually not a great uh, month for gold, nor uh, it look, you can see here from January to March is usually a very good uh, period for gold. And then gold kind of uh, flatlines until the end of July or drifts lower. And then towards the end of the year, we see uh, a big uh, move seasonally. And that's on a five year basis, 10 year, 20 year and 45 year basis. So what I'm trying to say here, yes, gold has gone up uh, quite a bit since uh, the middle of June. We've broken up through that key 1375 level. We did retest that breakout. We got back to 1381 recently. And now uh, we're, we've been above 1400 uh, for a few weeks. So that's encouraging. Uh, but there is, of course, a lot for gold and silver to go through over this week. Being the first being the FOMC meeting, the Federal Reserve, and then the jobs data. So I think it will be uh, be a very interesting week for all markets, not just precious metals. What about all the uh, distractions we have? All the political distractions, not only in the United States, with the Mueller um, testimony to Congress, uh, with what's going on here in the UK, with Brexit, a new prime minister. It looks like uh, in the UK, Boris Johnson is going to be tough uh, negotiating with the EU. It, it looks like they're putting aside uh, a billion pounds for a no deal Brexit for the UK leaving without a deal uh, on October 31st. So uh, I think personally, all all these uh, political and also geopolitical with what's going on in the Strait of Hormuz uh, with Iran, they're kind of distractions, they're in the engineered crisis in order to have a, a scapegoat for the economic storm that is going to hit, in my opinion. I think, uh, yes, we had the GDP last week that was better, a little better than expected. But as I said, you take out the huge deficit spending that's going on in the US, and this deficit spending is usually only used in times of recession. So we we have supposedly the strongest economy ever in the US, but we running a 5% uh, deficit. The other thing that uh, got me uh, concerned is that countries now are starting to uh, accelerate their f fiscal spending. The United States, you had Trump, uh, the administration and Congress agreed very quickly to raise the debt ceiling. There wasn't even like a, a bit of an impasse. I think that's a bad sign uh, in the UK as well. They're going to use Brexit as an excuse to start spending more. Uh, in Europe, it's a different story. The Europeans haven't been spending as much. Uh, there's more constraint, fiscal constraint. But I've, I've seen that the IMF is pushing uh, all the major countries to start uh, fiscal spending. So they tried this experiment uh, 2000, after 2008, uh, money printing, fiscal uh, spending, and we're still here. Nothing has improved, in my opinion. And they're going to have to go back to more money printing, more zero interest rates, more fiscal spending. Uh, so there's no way out. And that's why I think uh, people need to protect themselves, be out of paper currencies and have precious metals, physical gold and silver and other tangible assets. So 
get, get out of the system or gots, as Jim Sinclair says. That's it for today. Shorter video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, think about subscribing. Share this video far and wide as well. It helps. And you can also follow me on Twitter, Steemit, and on DTube. I wish you all a great week. Take care. Bye.